Hello, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you one of my books on topology. This book is called Topology and it was written by Murray Eisenberg. The book has a really cool cover. When you touch it, you can feel it. It's kind of it's kind of interesting. This is an X library book, meaning that it used to belong to a library. So, it used to belong to the library at the University of California, Riverside, and it's been withdrawn. Hmm. Interesting. Topology, Murray Eisenberg. And this is meant to be uh, an introductory book on topology. It's from 1974. Well, wow, it's a long time ago. So let's take a look and see what this book is about. Let's take a look at the contents. So it starts with sets and maps. So sets, maps, families and products, countability, order completeness of real numbers, and equivalence relations. So things that um, you might need later on, perhaps. Metric spaces. So that's a good place to start. If you've already had some analysis or advanced calculus, um, this is a very easy transition to jump into this because a lot of the proofs are similar. Um, it's just similar flavor. Two is on topological spaces. Three is on continuity and convergence. Four is on compactness. And then five is on connectedness. Cool. Let's just open it up. Here's talking about maps. A map or function f from x to y. Well, that's very precise. From or on. Yes, a map from x to y or a map on x. Right. Cool. Or into x to y. X. I like how it says it gives you options. x into 2 or into. You don't want to say onto. Right. So consist of sets x and y together with a rule f, which assigns to each little x and big x a unique element f of x and y called the value of f at x. Perfect. The set x is the domain, the set y is the codomain, and the rule f, yeah, cool. Very nice. It's got a lot of cool stuff, compositions. A lot of clean mathematics here. Images and inverse images. So you've got f from x to y, a map, and you have a, a subset of x. The image of a under f is this set here. Yeah, yeah. I actually have videos on this stuff. So like, you know, like proofs involving images and inverse images. Um, those are kind of fun. Yeah. They're, they're not hard. It's good practice just to get, you know, used to working with this definition, especially this one here, you know, this, the inverse image of D under F. This, this comes up a lot in topology. Uh, there's a lot of, some of the properties of, that you prove that I'm talking about, that I have videos of, those properties you actually use in the proofs of certain things uh, in topology. And so that's why it's nice that the book kind of reviews it here. Let's see, if, let's see if it gives you, here you go, families of products. It's having you prove some important things in the exercises, it seems. Families and products. Let's keep looking, see what else is here. I'm curious. Euclidean spaces. That's cool. Products. Product of a family. So you have x sub 1 through x sub n sets where n is a positive integer, then we're saying the product is the set here. That's cool, right? They use, they use an x. They don't use the pi symbol. A lot of times you'll see the pi symbol, but they're just using a big x. That's so cool. So different, right? That's, that's what I love about math. You see cool stuff like this. I mean, why not? Yeah. Very nice. There, there he does it again. They do it again. It's great. Oh, they're defining projections. Yeah, projections. So, right here. 
Yeah, there it says for j1 through n, the jth projection is the map p sub j, yeah, which just basically projects, sending each element of the product to its jth coordinate. In particular, when n equals 2, we have two projections, which are the first and second projections considered in 0 0.7. Yeah, neat. De Morgan's proposition. So this is, we're not even, we're not even to the topology yet, right? We're just, we're still like, this is still like the introductory stuff. Like this is like the preliminaries. It's great. Look at all this stuff. So much mathematics. Um, I don't believe this book has answers. Let's, let's just jump to the back. I don't think it does. Um, pretty sure it doesn't. So you've got the index. Uh, you've got uh, some list of symbols, bibliography, um, some type of guide for the exercises. Right, there's a guide. Guide to the exercises. And then just these are just exercises for the previous uh, chapter. There's, there's no answers at all, which make it kind of tough uh, to learn. I mean, you have a great book, right? Well-written, good examples, clean proofs, solid definitions. Everything is just there. Um, oh, what's this? I saw the word Hostdorf. I saw the word Hostdorf on, some, on one of the pages. Hostdorf spaces are also called uh, T2 spaces. Basically, it's Hostdorf. If given any two points, you can separate uh, those two points with um, disjoint sets. Let's find it. Let's find it. Hostdorf. Let's take a look at that so I can show you what that is. Those are named after a mathematician named Felix Hostdorf. Felix Hostdorf uh, was a very famous mathematician. And Hostdorf spaces are named after him. 1 of 43. Let's take a look at Hausdorff spaces. 1, 4, 3, and 201, it said. Sometimes when you look in the index and they give you like that first page number, I hate when it's like, an, like in the exercises or something. It's, here we go. The definition. Perfect. A topological space X is called a Hausdorff space or a T2 space and is said to be separated when each two distinct points of X have some disjoint neighborhoods. Okay, cool. Loosely speaking, x is a Hofstor space. Given any x and y and x, with x not, not equal to y, it is impossible to find points arbitrarily close both to x and to y. Then he gives you some examples. Every subspace of a Hausdorff space is a Hausdorff space. There's the proof. Then you've got some exercises, which again, unfortunately, the exercises have um, no solutions, which is a big downside. But the great look it looks like they're great exercises. 33 of them. I mean, that's that's a look at that. That's oh, that's not. We started at 21. Still, it's quite a bit. It's quite a bit of problems uh, in this little chunk here. It's a lot of mathematics. It would take uh, some time to sit down. And you know, work through all of these boundary, interior, and closure. I love when you see like images in old books. It's like, wow. You know. Bases and local bases. So nice topology book. I gotta give it a whiff. Ah, yeah, kind of a long video, but uh, just, just showing you one of my books. It's topology by Eisenberg, and I'll try to find it. I, I don't know anything about it, like how available, nothing. Uh, if it's in print, if it's out of print, no idea. Uh, but I'll, I'll leave some info in the description. Until next time, good luck, and take care.